Hey guys, it's Alyssa Marie. Today I was called to do a reading for you guys on the Lay Vampires deck. So I have six cards here. We're going to be doing a pick a card reading. Um, before we get started though, I just wanted to say that I want you guys to know that these readings are timeless. So basically what that means is that you can watch this reading today, you can watch it tomorrow, you can watch it a year from now, two years from now. No matter what, the message is still for you and it's still going to be relevant to you. But um, keep in mind that these are very general readings, so the if the message doesn't resonate with you, then um, feel free to maybe try to interpret it your own way, okay? So you can go ahead and pick any of these cards. This is one, two, three, four, five, and six. You can pick one, you can pick two, three, all of them, whatever you want to do. Hopefully everything is lined up okay. I'm just looking through the viewfinder. I'm at kind of a weird angle today. But um, so like I said, excuse my reach, we are going to be doing this reading with the Lay Vampires deck. I just wanted to use this deck because this is the first deck I've ever got. I got it, well, like four years ago. Um, I love it so much. I recommend you guys check out the flip through I have on my channel if you're interested. But I wanted to quick say that this deck is definitely, it has a balance of shadow and light. It isn't like, you know, a fluffy deck. It gives you an answer to your questions, or I should say guidance to your questions that you should hear versus what you want to hear. You know what I mean? So it's a great deck for that. And um, where was that? Yeah, literally on the back here, it says, a stunning deck designed for those facing difficult decisions, upheaval in relationships, or wishing to move away from draining careers, situations, or people. So that's kind of the theme of this deck. Um, so take this reading. And hopefully it benefits you. So I'll put the uh, timestamps below. Go ahead and pick whatever cards you want to do. Okay? Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Like I said, messages 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Sorry if I bumped the tripod. Um, okay, so what are the messages? What are the guiding words from the vampires giving to you today? If you picked message number 1, card number 1. Her last day in the light. Unexpected endings, surprise changes, and sudden shifts. Okay, so right away, I bet that some of you are feeling like this is a negative message. Her last day in the light. Um, and the way that I interpret this card right now for you is that it is definitely a positive message. And the reason I think that is because, yes, it may be your last day in the light. Your last day in a familiar location. Uh, maybe you're moving. Maybe you're going with a new boyfriend or girlfriend, a new partner, a new work. That work, that partner, that location brought you light. It brought you something wonderful, but it's time that you are moving on. So you have decided to step into a new light, new experiences, a warm, loving, healing light. And that's definitely what I get from this card with these colors. I hope the camera picks it up. It's a gorgeous card. Um, all the golds, sorry, I have nail polish on my hand there. Um, all the golds, um, it's just a warm, like I said, loving, healing light. And this unexpected end does not have to be negative. This could be just a new, new growth for you. This could be something that you have experienced and you've grown out of. It could be something that maybe wasn't the best for you. It could have been something that was hard on you, so much work, um, so much drudgery. And it is finally uh, um, time for you to really step into that new light. And you have to remember, although you have learned things from it, although you have taken those experiences and really worked with them and let them guide you, it's time to move to a new light. So I think this is a great card if you pick this. Um, keep in mind that, like it says, surprise changes. So this could be in the future. Like maybe this could be a couple weeks from now, maybe a couple months, maybe tomorrow. But for some reason, I must say, I'm feeling as if it is now, as, as if it is in this next week. It is something that is a big change for you, but it's a positive one, okay? All right, so now we have card number two. 
Love conquers all. Enduring loyalty, eternal love, lasting commitment. Okay. So the message that I am immediately getting from this card is that you have been possibly having some uh, issues in the love department, as in you might have gotten in a fight with your significant other, your partner, your family member, somebody close to you, and you know that you love them. You really do love them. They love you, but you've gotten in this fight. Even though you might have disagreements and you might think, oh, I'm right and, you know, I don't need to apologize and I'm, I'm mad at this person or, or thing, maybe it happened at work. It's important to know that we should give out love if we can at all times and that with love, we can conquer all these negative parts of our life that we may be experiencing with the love of another person and for the love of yourself. Um, if, it, if you're not having a fight with another person or an argument you just had, I feel like this could be for yourself. Maybe you are being really hard on yourself and you might have some self-image issues that you're going through right now. You might be um, feeling as if you're depressed, feeling as if you're anxious, feeling as if you've been let down by somebody and just know that there are people out there that will be there for you and your family members they will be there for you and you yourself over anyone will be there for yourself and or be there for you and if you don't love yourself it's very difficult to love another and I mean I even know that I even have issues with that it's super important to really appreciate and respect yourself so and then also that your um, relationship if you are like I said in a relationship right now with somebody and you feel as if um, maybe it's not working out really take time to step back and look at if there's love in that relationship and if there is love in that relationship then you this is going to be like I said a lasting commitment like it says there a lasting commitment if you're willing to have that love there okay so that's message number two whoops and now we'll have message number three. Okay, death rites, saying goodbye, formal occasion, honoring lives. I love this card. Okay, so before you get a little scared with this card, death rites, um, this card could, as you would imagine, signify the death of something. Maybe you have been, um, whoops, sorry. Maybe you have been had a friend recently that has passed away, a grandparent, a family member, a pet, um, something that has caused you sadness and gloom. And it's very hard, death as we know, but it is part of a cycle. It is part of life. And it's important to say goodbye and to honor those that passed on. And if this is not about somebody or something that has passed on. I also interpret this card as being something that has died, an idea, um, a career path, something of that nature. Maybe you're not interested in what you're doing your major in in college. Maybe you have been putting so much effort into something and realizing that it isn't for you. And although you may be feeling as if it's dying, I feel as if this card is really showing a rebirth because when something else, when something dies, something else is immediately reborn. This could be an idea, like I said, it could be anything. And that is really vital to understand that although this part of what you have in your life or maybe a part of yourself um, is dying, you are able to rebirth, to birth something else from it. From the ashes comes the phoenix and i i just really want to get that point across because i know that for some reason who whoever picked this card i feel as if you're really you're really feeling you know gloomy and you know it's really hard without knowing your specific situation right now as this is a general reading but just know like i said that new things when old things die, new things are born. 
And if someone has passed on, take this time to really honor them, to really honor who they were, what, what they've done in their lives, and how you can remember them. And maybe try talking to them, um, maybe, you know, just really trying to make a connection with that person that is passed on or that or that animal or you know that pet that is passed on make that connection and also understand that new things new things could be being could be birthed for you at this moment in time okay so that was message number three now we have message number four the past to prison Bitterness, grudge, refusal to let go. Okay, so if you picked message number four, I'm guessing you know immediately what this is about. You might have gotten in an argument with somebody. You might have gotten upset of something in the past that has happened to you, and you are letting it dictate your life. You are letting that thought, that person, that experience cage you as if you're in a prison like this card suggests and I am guilty of this it is very hard it is very hard to let go of certain things but in order to move on we have to let go and this is just the vampires coming through and telling you you know look you can hold that grudge but the more that you hold that grudge the more bitter you become you do not have to forgive that person you do not have to you know well, I shouldn't say you don't have to forgive that person. You don't have to think that that person did something, sorry, I keep moving the card, um, did something that was right. You don't have to agree with what they did. You know, like, I just want to bring this up. Maybe somebody abused you in the past. You do not have to sit there and say, you know, this person, you know, it was okay what they did because it isn't. You know, you can't control what other people do. If they, if they did something like that, it definitely isn't okay. But you do have the power to just forgive, you know, have the strength to move on, to forgive, to let what happened in the past be in the past and not let it cage you inside. And it's a very important thing for a lot of people to hear. And for some reason, I feel like quite a bit of you have probably picked this card because I feel like every single person is probably refusing to let go of something or someone. And that is just not the way to, to move on. It's hard, it's painful, but if you have the love of your, your family, your friends, your significant other, anybody in your life that is there for you, and that if you love yourself, if you pick this other card message too, loving yourself, you are able and you will be able to let go of that. It, it just takes time and it does take some effort, so. Okay, sorry about that, guys. This is message number five. Let's see what we have here. Supernatural, inexplicable, miraculous, otherworldly so this is a really cool card it's beautifully done i love the artwork okay so what i'm getting from this is that you have communicated or had a sign from a loved one that has passed on from a different spirit from a fairy from a um vampire like now from maybe a dragon um, something otherworldly has happened to you and you feel as if you're talking to yourself this can't be real this can't be true I couldn't have heard that I couldn't have seen that and I want you to know and the vampires want you to know that you must get rid of that because in order to progress and in order to really understand what happened to you you have to get rid of that that judgmental inner inner um, consciousness that you probably are having if you picked up this card so understand that whatever happened to you you know take a step back think about it again revisit it and understand that it was otherworldly and that it was something that you were supposed to be getting it was a message you were supposed to be receiving okay where you are feeling like you should maybe do something otherworldly miraculous you should be diving in more to your divination by watching this video you're doing that you should be you know talking to your guides or talking to your deities if you so do that um, you should be 
um, trying new things, trying things that you thought weren't possible and checking them out, doing research into reincarnation, doing research into old folklore that may, may perhaps be true. This is the time and I feel like you're doing that right now and that is excellent because that is a great way to expand your knowledge, okay? All right, and next we have message number six. Okay, that death will come. Mortal, finite, fragile. Okay, so this is a death card. And I know a lot of people are afraid of death cards, but I, I, I really have come to realize that death cards, although they can actually bring actual death, it isn't necessarily actual death. <laughs> Um, it can be. It can be a death of a loved one. It can be a death of a pet, of a friend, of somebody in your life. But most of the time, it's death of something. Death of an idea. Death of a project. Death of an addiction. Death of an old way. Something that you might be experiencing now. A hard time. I feel like this reading, like a lot of, there's some, there's some energy here definitely from this card that feels kind of heavy to me like being weighed down and maybe you have been going through some mental health issues depression anxiety or maybe somebody did something and you're upset about it and I feel like these keywords are really well key mortal finite oops sorry mortal finite what you're experiencing this this gloominess this heaviness is definitely mortal and finite it is not going to be something that lives forever it is not infinite it is not there to completely dictate the rest of your life it may seem like a problem now but know that if basically know that it will die those feelings will die um, and that new feelings will be reborn. If you picked any other cards, and maybe these relate to you, like I said, this is a very general reading, so I can't tell you exactly. But know that with this death that you may experience for something, that's what I'm getting from it, something, or that you have experienced of someone maybe. Know that it isn't the end. It's never the end. And you are able to maybe learn from that situation and grow from it you are able like i said with the other reading you are able to when something dies something new is reborn all the time you will be able to rise from the ashes of your defeat if it was a defeat and understand that if this was a defeat if you label it a defeat you are able to grow from it if somebody else has done something to you, don't label it a defeat. Label it a lesson. Forgive, have the, cur have the power, because you do, have the power to move on from that situation and understand that this past thing that happened will not be, like I said, infinite. It will be finite. It will be mortal. And although it is fragile, Although you are fragile in this particular state, you are not, that this death of whatever it may be is not you. You have the power, you have the want, I know you do, to really take what you learned, take this death and move on. And this death can also be a good thing for you, really can be a good thing for you. Maybe this card is saying you are literally quitting smoking, you are quitting, um, if you know, quitting a bad toxic relationship. And although it's hard, although you're fragile, although you feel like breaking, you are strong. You are willing. If you are willing to to fight, anything can happen. Okay. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. Um, hopefully, this gave you some insight from the vampires. Like I said, if you're interested in the actual like all card flip through, I have it on my channel. Go ahead and check it out. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week, day, whatever it is, whenever this is watched, whenever you are watching this. Oh my gosh, I can't talk today. 
Um, like I said, this reading is timeless. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!